Hi everyone, Jennifer Miller here with Ameriprise Financial Services. I'm a financial advisor. Many of you at your age might not know what a financial advisor does. It might seem scary. You don't want to talk about people having money. You don't want to talk to other people about your money. It seems like a little faux pas or something that you're not supposed to talk about with other people. Well, I'm here to tell you that you should talk about it with other people. You should talk to your parents about it or maybe an advisor. You're never too young to start seeing someone to talk about budgeting, saving money, and planning for your future. I'm a huge planner, I'm a type A person, and I believe that there's always a plan for everything. As a financial advisor, I help families with education planning, retirement planning, protection planning through insurance services, and also planning to buy homes, cars, whatever it is that they might need in their future or desire. I help them find the resources within their financial budget to achieve their dreams and obtain the things that they really want in life. You have to start these healthy habits with finances when you're really young. I always like to tell everyone, it's not what you make, it's not how much you earn, it's how much you spend and it's how much you save that really matters. This can make a big difference and it starts now. It starts if you make a $10 allowance every single month. Let's think about this. If you were to save that $10 every month for 10 years at a really low interest rate, which I know is also hard to understand right now, but in that amount of time at a really low rate, which usually you can get a better rate than this, you would make $1,362. How hard do you think it is right now to start putting away some of your allowance to save $10 a month? I bet you could do it. Sell some of your stuff at a garage sale, stop buying so many coffees on the way to school, give up the ice cream here and there. We can save money. There's little ways to cut back and little things we can do to make better decisions. We always have to plan for things. If you make $10 a week for allowance, for example, I would want you to start right now saying that 30% of that is going to be for spending on things that you need. If you drive, that would be your gas money. If your parents expect you to pay for lunch, that might be some of your lunch money. And then I would like you to spend about 30% of that on things that you want. Going to the movies with friends each month, uh,